Ishgard cannot well endure another assault. Even should her knights succeed in turning back the horde, the casualties will be catastrophic. We got another plan? But what other choice do we have? It's not like we can talk it over with them. Dragons and men aren't exactly on speaking terms. But with hmm. certain notable exceptions. You don't mean ice heart. Exactly. When last you spoke with her, she lamented her crimes, did she not? Yeah, then kind there of. remains a sliver of hope. If we can persuade Iceheart to act as our intermediary, we may yet be able to convince Nidhogg to abandon his bloody course. If there is to be a meeting, I would accompany you. I feel like that's a bad idea. Estinian. Even with your intermediary, Nidhogg's blood rage may render him deaf to reason. However, the mere attempt may afford our forces precious time to prepare. Of course, you might also consider a more direct approach to ending this conflict. With the power of the eye at my disposal, and the vaunted strength of the Warrior of Light, we could conceivably slay the beast outright. Mm. If we are to risk a face-to-face -face meeting with the Dread Worm, I for one would feel safer in the company of the Azure Dragoon. However, I should only turn to your alarms if my words failed to find their mark. Is that clear? Stanian, get your lance ready. We're going to need it. Perfectly. I shall assume that Isart enjoys similar diplomatic protection until instructed otherwise. Alfino, your words are crap. A word they, like, advice. never work. Think carefully before divulging the particulars of this plan to Sir Emmerich. It would not do to have the Lord Commander accused of consorting with heretics. Indeed. I thank you for your counsel, Estinian. We shall be honored to have you with us. I am glad to be of service. I accuse you of consorting with heretics. I request trial by combat. Let me go consult with heretics. That, that's... That's the story. Okay, Alfie. You got... We've chosen a difficult road. Yet even should we succeed in winning Iceheart to our cause, our plans for parley will, come, will swiftly come to naught should the Holy See decide to strike first against the Horde. We must petition the Lord's Commander's aid ere we set forth. I only hope that Sir Emmerich will be willing to muzzle Ishgard's forces on the strength of our vague assurances. Totaru. I would ask that you remain at Fort Amp Manor and inform the court of our decision. Tell them that the signs of the Seventh Dawn mean to do all in their power to ensure... ...that Ishgard and her people survive. Yes, sir. Enter the seat of the Lord Commander within the congregation of our Knights Most Heavenly. Most Heavenly. And so, I mean, they're both near the Forgotten Knight. Both things we have to do are near the Forgotten Knight. One's just like in the actual Forgotten Knight, and one's just there. Further down? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, there you are. I thought it might be you. So it's true? 
You're not from Mishgard? Perfect. No one will sus suspect a thing. Here's the package, good sir. Oh, hey, don't wave it around like that. Someone may see. Oh, hurry on to Falcon's Nest. You'll want to deliver it to him. Um, Amerisel. Remember, this meeting never happened. If anyone asks, you don't know me. I don't know you. Should I? Let me in, Mr. Guard. Why can't Emmerich just be like out in the open? No, he's always got to be in his I own room. The outer ward rechecked. See to it that the ballistas are in good repair and supplied with enough ammunition for a prolonged siege. At once, my lord. Ah, twould seem I have visitors. And unlike those messing beyond our walls, these ones are welcome. Pray forgive us for interrupting you in the midst of your preparations, Sir Emmerich. But our suit concerns the impending assault. To speak plain, we believe there is a chance the invasion might be halted before it even begins. I believe they call that wishful thinking. I can divulge little more at this time, but I must nevertheless request that you advise the Holy See to refrain from launching any preemptive sorties whilst we seek to put our plans in motion. I will gladly lend my support to any endeavor that could spare the blood of my countrymen, but I would know more of the cause you would have me champion. Will you not share aught of this mysterious undertaking? Know that I have offered my lance to aid in this endeavor. I cannot claim that its success is assured, but our actions should serve to delay Nidhogg's advance at the very least. Which is more than can be said for the ill-conceived counterattack advocated by the sea's more vocal crusaders. They offer glorious death, but little hope of victory. Aye, their proposal does not inspire confidence. Our resources should rightly be spent shoring up the city's defenses. Hmm. The Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light sallying forth together to face the Dreadworm Nidhogg. I like our chances. I must admit, the mere thought of it does much to dispel my misgivings. Go then. Carry out your plan. I shall do what I can for you within the Holy See. Alpino's right here. Having secured Sir Emmerich's support, we may proceed without fear of a preemptive Ishgardian attack. Which is not to say we can afford to dither. History tells us that the Dravanians will attack as soon as their horde reaches a critical size. Before that happens, we must need to track down and win over the Lady Iceheart, and then locate and parlay with Nidhogg. So, uh, easy peasy. In short, Time is against us. If you're ready, Estinian, let us be about our task. Yeah, so there's, uh, you can... No? Okay, yeah. You can request a cat fact using the cat fax commands or they go off about every Such hour once an hour uh, at some point i need to like write my own set of them and get a custom api built rather than depending on someone else's because there's some really questionable cat facts that i'm not i've had to delete cat facts a couple times 
Yes, your eminence. The bells of the observatorium warn of our enemy's approach. So, the dragons are coming. Let them come, in their hundreds and their thousands. With the divine blade in our hands, we shall rend their flesh and drown the heretics in their master's blood. Even Nidhogg and his foul brood shall be powerless to resist us. And when we have rid the world of their pestilence, we shall turn our attention to our Asian allies. See that they are suitably rewarded. See, I didn't trust him. Invaluable assistance. If I may, Your Eminence, the Paragons wield powers strange and unknowable. Mm. Can we be certain that they will not see Big through Big stretch! Oh. We can be certain of naught save the righteousness of our cause. If you would be a true leader of men, you must possess conviction as well as caution. We seek to excise the root of an evil that has blighted us for a thousand years. The risk is worth the reward. And what of Estinian and this warrior of light? They have plans of their own. Leave them to their purpose. We must each play the role we have been given. You and your chosen brothers most of all. Like I said, didn't trust him. Um... For the glory of King Thornton. What the? Nothing he would see to one final matter before setting forth. Before we set forth, we must needs inform Tataru of our plans. Then I shall await you at Sir Ran St. Reinald's Forum. Tell her, your friend we may be some time. The road you have chosen is neither short nor easy. Of that I need no reminding. Come, Archon. Let us head back to Fort Hump Manor. At some point, I would like to look into just writing my own into what you have to do for these custom AMIs. It seems like they're just like notepad files you call. See if it's these you call, but I need to look into them. The Temple Knights are recruiting. It's long been my dream to join their ranks, and soon I shall make it reality. I told myself I would give anything to be a Temple Knight, but one of their rules gives me pause. We are forbidden from marrying while undergoing training. Hearing this brought my, to mind a promise I made long ago. Div in two flights of fancy and romance, as children want to be. Promised a girl that we would marry when we came of age. I was just a boy. And to be honest, I cannot even remember her name. But I worry she may still be waiting for me. All I can recall is she was a ward of House Heladon. I realize the chances are slim, but I ask that you find her. Tell her she need not wait for me any longer. Could not bear knowing a girl wastes her life waiting for the impossible. I somehow doubt she's actually waiting for you, dude. So back to Iceheart. Or taken into House Helenot as a child. You ask as though there'd be only one. Sorry to say, but my lord has taken in more than I care to count. There'll be no easy task sorting through the lot of them with so little to go on. Of course, if we're speaking of re strictly of ladies recently come of age, that might narrow things down some. 
first that comes to mind is Lady Lynette down at the Rose House. She might be able to steer you in the right direction. Another person who wants me to go to Lady Lynette. Uh, we're going to go in here. We are past eight hours. <laughs> of course, it's set to tow. It may be some time before Arkhan and I return to Ishgard. Well, just you be careful, all right? No, don't worry about me. I'll be busy listening out for news of our lost friends. If anyone can find them, it is you, Tataru. Farewell, for now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must put this on, Alfino. I made it specially. Is it clothing suitable for the environment? Because he doesn't wear that. N no, no, I couldn't. I, I couldn't possibly... Very well. Well, it fits perfectly. The quality is actually rather good. Glad you like it. I've been practicing my needlework while I listen to rumors and the like. Good receptionist is always learning new skills. My thanks, Totaro. Whatever else awaits me upon the road, I shall not fear the cold. It was the least I could do. Now, I must be getting back to the tavern. I'll never catch up with all the gossip. Best of luck on your journey. And Estinian. I just want to get to the point where we're heading out of the city. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, we're not using that anymore, so we can hide that. You are aware now. No, oh, another quest. Very well. Angry? Of course I'm angry. All I want to do is protect my home, and those goddamn knights just sit there and scoff at the ramblings of an old man. Rambling my arse. You heard what to be what's to become of Falcon's Nest? Looks first there came to Ishgard to keep out of the cold. Now they plan to tear it all away and make a military encampment of it. A bloody military encampment. What's the worst? My son was been has enlisted to help. A little shite. He refuses to listen. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. If you see that slimy backslime and varlet, tell him you can come back to his family or not come back at all. So, these are... Beg your pardon, but you're Master Shade, I presume? Just the man I was looking to see. So happens I have a proposition for you. You see, in accordance with the Lord Commander's orders, we have established a new system similar to the one administered by the Adventurers Guilds of Eorzea. We are to document the petitions of the people and distribute them to motivated individuals like yourself. Or would you assist us with these leaves, sir? We would be most grateful. We would compensate you accordingly. You may now undertake Temple Leaves by speaking with Aloyne. In addition to normal leave quests, which require one leave allowance to accept, there are also large-scale leave quests, which require ten. Quests require some more effort, but yield reach your rewards. So you don't actually have to do them to unlock them here. In Ishgard, leave quests are not issued by the Adventurers Guild, but by the Temple Knights. The system, however, remains much the same. The one bit difference being that in addition to normal leave quests, which require one leave allowance to accept, there are also li large scale leave quests, which require 10. These quests will require more effort, but yield richer rewards. Treasure coffers discovered on the battlefield during battlecraft leave quests will sometimes contain amber encased filekin. These rare items can be exchanged with amber traders from, for items unobtainable anywhere else. You have said your farewells, then. 
Hi. You're ready to depart. Suggest we begin our search for Lady Iceheart without delay. Very well. But you'll prove an elusive quarry. Where do you intend to start looking? In the absence of any fresh intelligence on Isale's movements, I propose we pick up the trail where she was encountered last. The Coethus Western Highlands. Let us speak with Sir Radwald Plusset. He's the commander of the Falcon's Nest. It is like that he will know if any heretic activity has been reported in the area. Okay, that will be sending us out of town. There is one thing I want to do. If my memory is correct. Yeah, there's a summoning bell. I'm just going to bring... Ah, max level. Okay, I need to level Fisher more before I can do anything with him. Okay, um, well, that is me done for today.